everyone, it's Lauren from Well Please, and today I'm coming to you with a favorites video. Now, I know a lot of people usually do their favorites at the end of the month, but I just had a bunch of favorites to share, so I thought, why not? And I have a whole bag here of things that I've been loving lately, and I thought I would share them with you. Okay, so I have like two main categories, food and then like beauty and skincare. So I'm going to start with beauty and skincare. So starting with a product I love to use in the shower that I just found is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shave Butter Cream. And um, it says delivers a luxuriously close, comfortable shave experience. Here's what it looks like there. Sorry, my cat's clawing at the chair. Um, and it's really nice. It's almost like a body cream. Uh, it doesn't foam up. It's like almost, um, it's almost like the texture of conditioner. And I found that it has really helped um, prevent razor burn for me. I have extremely, extremely sensitive legs. So when I shave, it always hurts pretty much. And to go with that, I got this in my um, Glowing Beats box I actually got for my birthday, and it is the Moody Sisters Natural Skincare Whipped Cocoa Bean Lotion. It says from crocodile to baby seal in 60 seconds, organic natural lotion and lightly whipped to perfection. And um, I put this on after I shaved my legs with this, and this does not burn my legs. And Almost every lotion after I shave burns my legs. Um, even coconut oil sometimes burns my legs, it's the only thing I found. Um, that has worked other than this is um, straight argan oil. So I was really excited to find a lotion that did not burn my legs. And there's what it looks like. And their little logo is two black kitties. And I have two black kitties and um, two black little kitty sisters. And it's really cute to me. I don't know. I just like love it. Um, and yeah, I actually will show you. I ordered um, the night I got this. I ordered a bunch of stuff off the website. I was so obsessed with this like from the second getting it. Um, because not only does it not burn my legs, but it is the best smelling lotion like I have ever owned. Oh, it is like chocolate smelling and I love chocolate. Like if you are a chocolate addict, please get this. Like it smells so good. Um, but this one here has, um, it's natural and vegan, no sulfates, gluten, paraben, dyes, or synthetic fragrances. So that's awesome. And it smells amazing, works amazing. It's just like, I cannot say enough good things about this. And I've only had it for not even a month yet, and I already am obsessed with it. Okay, going along with the Moody Sisters, I ordered a bunch of their stuff, but this is what I've been loving most since placing my order, which I've only had these for less than a month as well. Um, and my birthday was November 29th, and I ordered these then, so I haven't had them for too long. And this is a little um, trial trio that I got. I think it was the Dry Skin Skincare Trio, and it came with the Nourishing Foaming Cleanser, along with the Hydrating Toning Mist and then the Face Cream and Orange Blossom. And um, I have been loving what this has been doing for my skin. I don't love the smell of the face wash or the toner. I think it is because it has, um, what was it in here? Um, oh no, I know in the, in the cleanser it has um, patchouli, neroli and ylang ylang and lemongrass which i don't like any of those essential oil smells and i believe that the, the hydrating mist smells similar so it's not it doesn't smell bad enough that i wouldn't want to use it though it's just not my type of scent that i prefer um basically i just use the cleanser and it's a foaming cleanser but it doesn't really lather too much um but it just leaves my skin so clear and soft um I already have pretty clear skin to start with, but I've just noticed that this has been making my skin even more glowy. Um, I don't know what it would do if you had acne because I don't have acne right now, um, but it really has made my skin you know, bright and glowy and I just have really been loving it and soft. And then the toner has been great as well. And then the moisturizer is kind of a thicker cream. It is definitely a thicker consistency and um, it smells pretty natural, like most natural um, creams that I've used, but it, they all work really nice. This definitely is heavier though, so I would think it's probably better for the winter, but definitely give them a try. I really like their products so far, and I haven't even had them for that long, and I'm already thinking about what I wanna buy next, and I definitely wanna get those in full size as well, so I've really been loving that company. All right, so the next product I have is the 100% Natural Origin Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15 from Physicians Formula, and I'm almost out of this bottle actually, and I just repurchased two more bottles over Cyber Monday, so that'll show you how much I like it. Um, this is actually my first time, like this bottle is my first one, and previously to that I was using a foundation from 100% Pure, um, which is in like the $40 range, so I wanted to look for a more affordable option, and I came across this, and um, so I decided to try it out, and I really like it. Um, it is a tinted moisturizer, so it's a lot lighter coverage, and it gives you, it kind of has a glowy look, it's definitely not matte, um, but I really like that, so if you have pretty clear skin and just want 
you know, a nice overall color correction. I really like this. So yeah, check it out. These two ones are not really like natural items. I've just been loving them. And the first one is this sampler I got of the Marc Jacobs Daisy Perfume. And um, I actually just purchased the rollerball of this. I love it that much. I'm like not a huge perfume person. Um, just every time I smell them, all I can think of is like Macy's. Like they're just too abrasive for me. But, and my mom like, hates perfume and she's actually complimented me on this um she's like it's really light it's not too overbearing so yeah i just really like it and the fact that i purchased a rollerball i'm like the cheapest person ever so um you know that says something that i actually bought the full size or the, the rollerball of a little sampler okay and then the last uh beauty product i have is this tarte palette it says energy noir clay palette so I'm assuming that's what it's called. I'm not really like up on it. I got it um, over Cyber Monday from Ulta and uh, here's what it looks like. It has just these really pretty purpley colors. It's pretty neutral with a um, nice like rosy blush and I've just been loving this palette. It is what I have on today. It's so pigmented. I've been wearing it every day. The blush is beautiful and I've just really been loving it. And I was debating if I should put this in here because it's not, you know, like a supernatural product. I'm not really sure exactly, you know, what their deal is on the natural spectrum, but um, as far as like what ingredients they use, but you know, it's eyeshadow and as long as it's not going all over my face, I guess the blushes, but you know, I don't think it's, you know, I'm going to die from using one product that brings me a lot of joy as long as I'm using natural skincare and use natural things where you can incorporate them and find products you love. But um, again, the eyeshadow palette I was using was a little bit expensive, so I decided to switch. This one was $22 and it had a lot of colors, blush, so I just decided to get it and... You know, that's kind of the message I'm trying to get across is that you have to find balance and having one eyeshadow palette that's not, you know, a natural skincare or a natural makeup brand, you know, is not going to kill you in the end of the day. So I just want to share that because I have been loving it. And now I have um, four kind of food items, food slash drink items. The first one here, oh my kitty is running over here, she's so cute. Okay, the first one here is the Justin's Vanilla Almond Butter. I don't know how many times I can mention this. I am obsessed with this almond butter. Um, it is a staple. I have it multiple times a week with apples, on toast, um, on toast with bananas. Like I use it in some of my recipes, which I will link down below. I like dessert recipes. It's just like you can use it for everything. It is so delicious. Um, I am obsessed with it. So this is definitely one of my favorites. The next item, um, I guess I'll stick with food items because I have one more, is the, again, I don't know how many times I can mention this, the Hail Mary, um, Mary Bites. They are like macaroons and these are the paleo friendly, dairy free, fair trade, certified clean, non-GMO, project verified, certified gluten free, certified vegan, and kosher. Like these things are the best. They taste so good. For two macaroons, it's only seven grams of sugar. They are amazing and they taste really good. Um, my favorite flavor lately, I think this is a new one, is salted brownie. I usually just get like the regular chocolate ones, but these ones are really good. And my friend also tried the salted caramel and she really liked them, but I didn't. So if you're not a chocolate lover, maybe try that out. But I love these. There's only one left and I'm totally going to eat it after this video. And then my next product is this um, Reed's Ginger Ale. It is the premium ginger brew and this actually has like legit ginger in it. Um, I'm not a ginger fan, so I don't love how it tastes, but um, my stomach has been bothering me the past week and a half and this is just amazing it's great when you have a stomach ache um you know it has the real ginger in it anything ginger really like um you know i have suffered from a lot of nausea in the past so ginger tea this ginger brew ginger um candies you know anything ginger really helps me when my stomach is bothering me or i have nausea so if you do too maybe try this out um and it has carbonated too so the bubbles help as well so i really like this and then my last favorite um, I've also mentioned before, these are just like my tried and true favorites. This has been my all-time favorite tea right now, especially um, with it being colder, is the Numi Organic um, Turmeric Tea in Amber Sun. It has rooibos, cinnamon, and vanilla. It's a very like fall, wintry tea, and of course turmeric is so good for you. Um, sometimes I actually put in fresh turmeric in my tea um, to give it a little extra, you know, oomph. But um, yeah, I really, really, really have been loving this tea. They have a few different varieties of the turmeric tea. Um, 
so I might try some of those out, but my favorite um, that I've had before, I think the only one I've tried is the Amber Sun, so let me know if you've tried other varieties, but this one I definitely love. Um, so yeah, those are all of my favorites. Let me know what your favorites are down below because I've really been into trying new products lately, and um, yeah, it's just been really fun to to try new natural products and find that there really are some great things out there that are natural. So yeah, I hope you guys like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!